on the channel, we've got three characters from The Return of the Jedi. We've got Jay Quill, we've got Lando Calrissian, and we've got R2-D2. Welcome everyone, Kyle here, and welcome back to the channel for our daily Star Wars unboxing and review in 2021 and possibly beyond. And today, we've got a little Return of the Jedi unboxing with three characters from the Return of the Jedi movies. Uh, but remember, for all your Star Wars needs and everything else under the sun, hit up Big Bad Toy Store. Link in the description below. So going through these figures, I never understood what the name of these, uh, the set of figures was. They uh, represented all aspects of the Star Wars universe at the time. I don't know if it's technically the Saga Collection, uh, but basically we break them up into movies, and that's what we got here with Return of the Jedi. With old friend R2-D2, will he break? Will he be hot garbage? Uh, we'll see. Hopefully not. Lando Calrissian, no stranger. Many different outfits for old Lando throughout the years. And then J-Quill, a little bit of a deep cut, but a very expensive expensive figure for this type of figure and one you don't see come up very often so it's going to pay me to open him up a little bit but we're going to do it like we normally do it we're going to take a look at the packaging we're going to talk about it we're going to unbox it we're going to talk about it and we'll see where it goes from there so let's start off with our boy lando calarissian we know lando all too well there he is old lando looking only like he can look in disguise of course return of the jedi on the side a lot of accessories here i believe even a figure stand in there he's got his force pike i think that's what those things are called uh, yeah, and then he's also got a blaster with a beautiful rubber band around it. I'm sure that thing's disintegrated into a sticky mess by now, so we'll investigate that. This came out in 2004. 2004, oh, what a year 2004 was. That was the year I met my wife, little known fact. There you go, met my wife that year. So there it is, 2004, Lando Calrissian, ready to guard the palace. There's the back of the card. We got the cross cell down below. We got warnings. We've got Lando, we've got a blur, we got Star Wars up top, and you got a little glamour shot of Lando up top as well. So let's read the back of the card, let's see what it says about our old buddy Lando Calrissian. As part of the daring mission to rescue Han Solo, Lando infiltrated Jabba the Hutt's palace by concealing himself in the armor of one of the Jabba the Hutt's many skiff guards. When Luke Skywalker sprang his rescue mission over the great pit of Carcoon, all beautiful this time of year, the skiff guards were startled when one of their own turned on them and revealed himself to be a rebel infiltrator. Disposing of the guards, Lando piloted the rescue skiff that spirited away the rebels. He sure did. He sure did. Uh, interesting one. All right, let's unbox it. Let's see what's going on with Lando. See you later. We've had this Lando many a times. So I think we're getting it soon in the vintage collection, actually. See you later. Just recently announced. Uh, we also got this one uh, in the Power of the Force collection as well. So there you go. So we got a few of these out there for display purposes. There's old Lando looking only like he can look. I do love that these come with a stand. I need, I desperately need a lot of stands for my Star Wars figures, as you guys know. Uh, they're very uh, hard to stand, uh, to put it mildly out there. So they do need stands, and I'm happy this one comes with it. If I can get it out, that's the question. There it goes. See you later up high. Up high towards the sky. There it goes. So we do get a stand, just a regular stand. It is what it is. Uh, you get his little force pike, very moldy plastic. No stickiness, though. I do uh, appreciate that, but you do have that classic weapon for Lando. Uh, we do have a blaster for Lando. It is rubber banded in, and that rubber band is disintegrating at the touch like I assumed it would. No shock there, as we know. Let me brush all that off, get that off of there. Goodbye. Uh, so Lando does have his weapon, but it sucks that these always have to be kind of taped in because they do not fit on the hands very well. Uh, they just fall out, like you can see. So that does suck as well. Maybe some molding. Maybe I can get it in that finger. I don't know. But that's disappointing. We do have the blaster, but it does fit on his side there, so you can store that blaster there. Uh, we do have Power of the Force type articulation with a twist. Yes, a twist like Chubby Checker used to do back in the 50s, I believe. But you've got legs up and down. You've got waist. You've got head. You've got arms that go up and down. But then you have elbow articulation and forearm articulation on one arm for Lando. And then you've got forearm and just straight up. Nope, you got elbow, forearm, and shoulder for this other arm. So he's got a few choose-your-own-adventure things here going on. Looks just like Billy D. Williams. Looks like he's ready to bust open a Colt 45, just go to town. You got the mask, which you can put on him. Looks great. 
not not nothing real bad about this one there's a lot to like about this figure i think this is a very very solid lando calrissian in disguise uh, a really good figure i think this is a must-have especially if you're building out your Jabba sail barge and your skiff i really do rec rec recommend i was gonna say i really do recommend but no i really do regret not picking up the Jabba sail barge i remember i was kind of on the fence but i wasn't deep deep into three and three fourths at the time now i need a sail barge at a good price but that's not going to be possible but i would love to have Jabba's sail barge that would look great in my collection we've talked about the razor crest razor crest i don't really have an interest in for whatever reason i love the mandalorian i love the figures i just felt like i didn't need it so i don't know but this Jabba. Jabba's guard Lando Calrissian. I almost called him Jabba the Hutt. Uh, this Jabba guard Lando, very strong, very good, better than the Power of the Force one, that's for sure. And uh, if you have this one, you possibly might not need the Vintage Collection one. That's my plan. I don't think I'm going to get that upcoming Vintage Collection Lando. And if I do, it would be the long game getting it on clearance. All right, next up from the aforementioned Jabba Sail Barge, we're taking a look at old Jay Quill. Yes, Jay Quill, looking only like he can look, a hairy bipedal creature, so you know my interest is heightened here. I always love a, a good alien with hair on him, looking only like he can look. In the Star Wars packaging, Return of the Jedi down the side, of course, in the back. He's looking beautiful. He's looking hairy. He's ready to defend Jabba Sail Barge. Good for him. Good for him. He's got a blurb up top, a little glamour shot, a little cross sell, some warnings, I forgot 10 Jedi Master Points on every single one of these. So like a young Scrooge McDuck, my wealth grows. My wealth grows. What's it say about him on the back here? A Whippet. He's a Whippet. Not to be confused with a Whippet that people are doing with uh, air canisters back in the dairy department. But we're talking Whippets. From the planet Tula. Oh, Tula. Muddy this time of year, but beautiful. It's seasonal. It's a seasonal place. You don't want to go in the winter. You definitely don't want to go in the summer. But the spring and fall beautiful can't re recommend it enough they got these things that taste kind of like apples but aren't apples oh you gotta try them you've got to try one go to the planet of tula jay quill was a spy sent into job of the hut's palace by lady valerian his plan to assassinate the hut were rendered moot when jabba was killed during the rebels rescue mission at the pit of carcoon jake quill was one of the survivors of the fight at the sarlacc pit there was a lot of more intrigue and a lot more going on in Jabba's palace than, than meets the eye there. There were so many guys like Tessic out there that were really wanting to kill Jabba. So Jabba had all these guys around him that didn't know each other wanted to kill him. So very interesting times in Jabba's palace. I'm guessing there must be a graphic novel or something that flushes out this whole uh, intricate plot against Jabba and everything that went on there. If not, Disney Plus, it's time for a series called Jabba's Place. Much like Cheers, he walks in, it's kind of like cheers but with Jabba's palace i think that would write itself after a while and and i am available uh, to give you a treatment if you do need one um so there you go but jay quill i believe him and tannis speak who well, i got old tannis right here another hairy bipedal creature uh almost like a skunk if you look at him he looks like a skunk uh, i believe these two were like a team or a partnership or something i don't know but i can't remember what the back of his card said but uh, i'm just gonna imagine these two are like uh you know, like Bo and Luke Duke, basically. They were a team attached at the hip, ready to take out Jabba. All right, Jay Quill, let's get down to it. See you later. What's going on with Jay Quill? See you later. I wonder if him and Chewbacca ever met and were ever good friends. A little plastic prison for Jay Quill. A nice, heavy 3 and 3 four style figure. You guys know I love a 3 and 3 four figure that has some weight to it, some girth. I'm all in. I'm all in. He's very similar to an Ewok in some ways. There it is. See you later. Rubber band, see you later. He comes with a stand. We always love a stand. You guys know that. Ah, Jay Quill. Looking only like Jay Quill can look. From the planet Tula. Very strange arm on him. There's no bend. He does have rotation at the elbow, but what do you need rotation for if you can't bend? Uh, same thing with the wrist. So he's got wrist articulation, elbow twisting articulation, and then shoulders. And then his head does move, his waist does move, and his legs move in the power of the force style. 2003 very interesting almost looks like he could be an ewok but then man he's got a face only a mother could love a mother from the land of tula home of great apples he does come with a blaster fits in his hand here who knew he was a spy to, looking to take out java i never would have guessed this in a million years like i said java a complex hut a hut that is very complex i think but looks very cool put him next to, to quill or whatever and you got yourself a team a team of hairy creatures like bo and luke duke Ready to take on the world. Uh, I like that one a lot. That's definitely out of the three. I haven't even opened R2 yet. He's my favorite one just because I know he will be.
Now, R2, R2D2 and myself have had a complicated relationship over the almost year of these daily Star Wars unboxings. I think about every single R2-D2 I've unboxed has either broken or his uh, paint has been flaking off or chipping off or he's had some kind of weird issue or it's just been an all-around terrible figure. C-3PO also very similar is a lot of these C-3PO's disintegrate right out of the package. Just absolutely fall apart. Absolutely the hottest of the garbage. So I'm hoping this R2-D2 with sa the sail barge R2-D2 can step it up a little bit. We'll see. Hopefully we're we're getting more near present day. I'm hoping these figures were made to last a little bit better than some of the Power of the Force, Power of the Jedi ones of the past. This one's from 2003. I don't know. It's somewhere in the middle. So we'll see what we got. But there's R2. Comes with a stand. You never really need a stand for R2-D2, but you can use that for somebody else. So I'm not opposed to that. A little glamour shot of him. Return of the Jedi band across the side. We got the lightsaber firing up up top. We got warning. Star Wars logo. He's got his little drink containers and all that kind of stuff. Drink dispenser on him which is new for the sale barge, so we do like that. On the back, we got the cross sell down below. We're promoting other ones out there. We got the blurb up top. We got a couple of glamour shots, a big glamour shot at the top, Star Wars logo, and uh, warnings and all that, and 10 more Jedi Master points, uh, as you could guess. During a daring mission to rescue Han Solo from Jabba the Hutt, R2-D2 and C-3PO were sent into the Hutt's palace on Tatooine, where they became the grisly crime lord's property. R2 served as a waiter, distributing drinks aboard Jabba's sail barge. Little did any of the criminal dregs suspect that the droid carried him in him Luke Skywalker's lightsaber. What a scene when that lightsaber shot up in the air. Little Kyle loved it. Old Kyle loves it as well. Which he launched to the unarmed Jedi, who went to rescue himself and his friends. Very, very nice. It's all about friendship at the end of the day. If you don't have any friends, what do you got? What do you got? You don't got any friends. See you later. See you later. Goodbye. R2 looking only like he can look in the plastic prison. This one looks pretty solid off the bat. I'm hoping for the best here. Knock that stand out. There it goes. There it goes. See you later off the uprights. All right. So this just, oh, this is nice. Okay, this is pretty nice. It just lingers there. It just fits in. It just goes right over R2's arms or whatever you want to call it. He does got that traditional R2 third leg. Let's see if that third leg goes up and down. Uh, I don't know. That leg doesn't want to... Oh, I guess you just pull it out. Usually the head spins and it moves. But good thing we don't have any of that vac metal or any of that kind of stuff going on with R2 right now because uh, the paint is not chipping off. So I like this already better than most R2-D2s. The leg pops right back up there if need be. He's got his drink dispenser on there and his drink caddy. So you can choose your own adventure here. So... This is nice. I'm going to use this R2 with my Jabba scene. Uh, C-3PO, R2-D2, you need many versions of those because you're going to have uh, different display shelves where you're going to need them. And this will definitely be the R2 that I use in my display shelf with Jabba's Palace and all that kind of stuff with the drink dispensers. So I do like this one. Uh, this, dare I say, could be the best R2-D2 3 and 3 fourths figure I've received yet. I could be wrong. I might have a better one, but does he not want to fit on the stand? There's really no reason for this stand anyways. I don't even know why I'm putting them on here, but there it is. It fits. Uh, I like it. Very different R2-D2. I mean, you can only do R2 and C-3PO so many ways. Uh, we've seen C-3PO with different colors, like a red arm, stuff like that over the years. Uh, one that dismantles, stuff like that. But R2, very tough to change up. By, by giving him the drink dispenser, stuff like that, it's a little bit of a point of difference. And it does work in the scene with Return of the Jedi, Jabba's Sail Barge, all that kind of stuff. So I am okay with that. I do like it. I'm a fan. So I'm going to put this in order. These are three strong figures where I did unbox uh, the Emperor, Luke, and Darth Vader. Three hot garbage figures. So it's a tale of two reviews here. But Jay Quill going to be my favorite, no doubt in my mind. Ah, this is tight. This is tight. But I'm going to go to R2. Just because I've had so many bad R2s, it's nice to get a good R2. And then Lando coming in at number three, but a close number three. I like him a lot. So what do you think, though? What are your thoughts in the comments? Did you have any of these figures? How would you rank them? Anything I missed with these guys, let me know. Uh, what is your favorite R2? It's like picking between children, I'm sure. Uh, but what's your favorite R2-D2? Make sure you like this video. Make sure you leave me a comment. Like I said, make sure you subscribe with the notification bell. Follow me on social media at SirPaul64 on Twitter, the underscore Kyle underscore Peterson on Instagram. And of course, Pro Wrestling Tees, search Kyle Peterson. Support the channel. Support the daily Star Wars unboxings and reviews, of course. So there it is for the return of the Jedi. I'm Kyle. See you guys all real soon.